Hello everyone, Hisron here, and welcome back to Let's Play of Starforge Beta 0 0.8. Last off, when we left off, it was episode 2, we just got the T3 drill, and we decided we were going to go blow stuff up in the ship. Uh, this is now episode 3, and believe it or not, this episode, um, it's almost over. And then I realized I wasn't recording properly, therefore, we were going to do the entire episode again. Uh, what you missed is I was able to make the um, special op pants. We got that. I did make um, two more shotguns and some grenades and hid those in two chests not too far from the ship. So if we did die, we'd be able to at least run back in with some form of uh, ammunition. Um, we left the ship, came up into the hills... And forget this wee stuff, I, you're not going to see the footage, so I came up into the hills, um, learned all the blueprints, which we actually learned um, Guardian Boots and Guardian Gloves, which require monolithium ingots, we got 17 of them uh, while raiding the ship, and we got a hacking device, or sorry, we got the blueprint for a hacking device, which required chrysalis ore, and we did not have any. Um, I found some right after that. So we already got 200 chrysalis ore, so actually next episode we're going to be making the uh, T4 drill, because we got the blueprint for it with the ship run. <gasps> it was amazing. So, yeah, I have the monolithium ingots are going to be annoying, because to make monolithium ingots you have to make the monolithium ore, which is titanium ore and garrison ore. I got the garrison ore, I can get the titanium ore, the problem is the time. It requires a foraging terminal as you can see in the description. So I have to sit there, waiting, and, you know, 10, 20 minutes, depending on how much I want to do. And that just isn't fun. So that's going to be cut out, and you're all just going to see the end results, but if you play the game, ooh, antimatter. I think I might need to know that. Oh, no, we actually learned antimatter. How do we make antimatter? Forge. Ah, yeah, if, yeah. Okay, antimatter, uh, some Voltronic ore, Saltex powder, Obsidian powder, and Dark powder. Uh, Saltex powder and Obsidian powder, we just, um, we throw the ore into a refinery. That's no problem. To make the uh, Dark Sulfur, I need Saltex and Dark powder. Dark powder. Okay, Saltex ore, Obsidian ore, and Dark Matter Shale. You throw those in the refinery and you get the corresponding uh, powder. So, um, with no further ado, let's go raid the ship. For me, it'll be raid the ship again. For y'all, it'll be raid the ship. Blow stuff up. And we actually went through it last time. Did not die. There was no problem. Um, okay, good. I still got 15 grenades. I like their grenades. They are quite useful for clearing out the rooms. If, however, you do not aim well, or it's sloping back, or it hits a mob, however it happens, if the grenade gets too close to you, you die. These grenades have a relatively large blast radius. Um, actually, I'll demonstrate. Let's throw that up there. Okay, it's kind of there on the rock. See that? That's kind of big. So, yeah, kind of wasteful, but from here, okay, I thought they had a slightly larger damage radius, I guess not, um, sorry, <laughs> I've actually died by my own grenade before in this game, so I'm a little leery of them, I may have overestimated their power, and, uh, well, this game is absolutely great with all this flora. Wait. Flora. Yeah, that's the right word. Flora and fauna. Um, not much in the way of fauna just yet. No animals. We got the little wormy. We got the daffodilla. We got, you know, for hostiles, we got the leeches. We got the eye monsters. And there's the jelly buffs, which are inside the ship. Oh. We have stumbled across somebody's abode. Looks like a steel structure with a steel door. It looks very nice. Someone try to dig under it or something? Hmm. 
Is it open in the back? Nope. Well, maybe we'll check that out later. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that probably connects to what we just saw. Uh, this is the cave I was originally thinking about maybe moving into, but it looks like it is occupied. So I probably will just leave well enough alone and not do that. We'll find our own place. Maybe I'll just dig so far underground that we'll eventually stumble across the cave. You know, that would be cool. Okay, so first let's check out the back of the ship. Oh, don't really want to go down there. Here in a moment we should be taking radiation damage because we are close to the ship. I'm going to fill up on hunger because if I'm taking hunger damage and radiation damage, it's just ridiculously annoying. Let's make 15 of the smaller health injections. Uh, I already used up all my larger ones at the last ship run. That's kind of annoying. So what we're going to do is just uh, grab all the blueprints we run across and sort through them later so that I am not in this radiationated, radiated area too long. So back here you look and oh look engines this is actually the back of the ship and you may be thinking well duh it's the back of the ship um no see there are several hey now die okay there are several different sections of the ship you may be thinking oh that's nice so you can spawn the map and then you have a section of the ship. It can be different. No. Same map. And at different times, it'll be a different section of the ship. I don't know if aliens are coming down and just teleporting the whole thing out and then replacing it. It's like, hey, I think it's time y'all got this one. Um, however it's happening, you know, just game design. Um, right now we have the back section of the ship. Later on we may have the middle section. Or a different section. It just changes. It's kind of random. I'm sure there's an algorithm of some kind that, you know, helps dictate this, but as far as I'm concerned, it's random. I don't know if it happens whenever players log in or how it works, but ever so often, there'll be a totally different section of the ship here. And here in a moment, should be done digging our way out of that mess that the lovely leech decided to knock us into. Now I was here earlier and there was not an easy way in back here, but I used my drill, put down some dirt, made a little bridge, which it's still loading, you can see part of it there. There it goes. And now we can go in here. Um, okay. Look at the lovely jelly puffs that are wanting to kill us. Let's beat him to the punch. Excellent. Easy enough, we're all alive. Now, in this corridor here, I don't like it, because along the roof... Yeah, let's throw a grenade. Along the roof, there are spots. Once there's a jelly puff stuck up there. I walked in and it got me. It was unpleasant, to say the least. By unpleasant, I mean I died and had to run back and get my stuff. So, yeah, unpleasant. And in case you're wondering, I'm just foraging me some more. Uh... Okay, this is a bug EMP grenade blueprint. Um, no, it's actually the actual EMP grenade. The blueprint you cannot actually get at this time. I'm quite certain that it will be patched um, in a future update. But for now, the only way to get EMP grenades is to get the quote-unquote EMP grenade blueprint. Let's throw that down there. Whoa now! 
Help. You better be dead. Whoo, that was scary. Okay. That was unexpected. I don't think that actually spawned on top of me. I think it spawned back in the area that we came from uh, and then came in here and tried to eat us. Oh, I'm full on titanium. That was something else. I made a whole bunch of titanium ingots so we could get the um, special op gear. I made a lot more than needed though because I'm actually hoping to get the titanium chest blueprint before too long. Um, each upgrade of the chest allows you to hold two more items. I think the wooden chest holds eight, if I remember correctly. I guess not the best place to check this out, but... Okay, forge. Uh, yeah, we'll do it later. Um, so I think wood is eight, which would make iron ten, steel twelve, and titanium fourteen. If I'm wrong, then all those numbers are two less what I just stated. And no, the grenades aren't necessarily needed, but they make me happier. Because if we tried to slowly walk in here, and this guy in the corner could have taken us out. So I really like the grenades. However, when multiple people are in the ship and you're all trying to work together, the grenades are a bit less of a good idea. The potential for accidental killing, or, you know, if you're a jerk, uh, purposefully killing, um, is there. But for now, um, the game isn't too bad. Um, you have some players that are definitely trying to grief. They're trying to be a pain. And I run into this room, you know, not too worried about it. I did check, you saw. But I've been in here before. And typically this last room for the rear section, I don't remember seeing any mobs. You know what? Just so that this will go away and spawn another good one we're gonna make sure it's empty so yeah this room um you know not sure that mobs actually spawn in it oh may want to uh, heal myself there no it's not grenade Deflated. Excellent. Yeah, um, four sulfur, I think it's four sulfur, and then four steel. The grenades are really nice. Still, um, the jelly puffs aren't too hard to kill, and it is possible to go through without the grenades. Yeah, see, the jelly puffs are not impossible to kill, but the grenades do give that nice little uh, safety feel. I feel safer. What's in the container? Okay. Alright, so it's looking like this particular raid of the ship has been successful. I'm not sure what blueprints we got just yet. Yeah, sometimes the leeches think they're in front of you and they're really not. Um, if you do ever encounter a leech that is constantly coming towards you and glitching back to where it was, there's a good chance that you're about to have a reset on the map. At that point, I don't leave, I just wait it out, and I wait about 20 or 30 seconds after I'm disconnected to try to log back in. And since doing that, and because I have registered, um, just do slash help, you can check it out, and it tells you do slash register, which is why whenever I type in chat, it says member instead of guest. Um, once I've done that, I have not actually lost my stuff due to a rollback. 
Well, let me rephrase that. I've not had my inventory wiped. It's actually just gone back to whatever it was ten minutes ago, which is when the rollback is occurring. So, totally preferred. Instead of logging back in and having full Guardian armor, T4 drill, um, hacking device, multiple bullets, um, full arsenal of just about everything, and because I was making a move to a new base, most of my resources wiped. All gone. And yes, that happened. Not on this server. It was on a different server, different game, but I recovered. I had another T4 drill hiding out, um, which I highly recommend you doing if you play this game. Have a T3 or T4 drill um, in a locked chest hidden someplace. You know, when you dig into a stone mountain and then replace it with stone, make it look like it's never been touched, or you do that with sand or snow, wherever you do it, just hide it somewhere random and don't please do not use blocks because with the game currently set up the way it's set up you can sometimes if you're digging glitch through and see through the terrain to any caves or underground bases and that's not a problem if someone's going to do that they're going to find it even if you don't use blocks but sometimes with the world loading there's been times where I see blocks before I see the terrain generate. Um, granted, that was when I had it on not like this, because right now this is very far draw distance, so I'm seeing the mountains far off, but the details aren't being shown. So, yeah. In the end, I'm a little overcautious, so anything I say, realize that um, if you do what I say, it's not like you're not going to have any trouble, but chances are you're going to have a bit less trouble than you may otherwise. Someone got a fusion power generator. I believe that's what this is. I have been looking for this blueprint on the other server numerous times. I've got sets upon sets of guardian armor blueprints, large power generator blueprints, but a single fusion reactor. I'm taking a screenshot. But F12? I have no idea if that will show up or not, but there we go. Um, I'm going to take another one. Okay, so I'll, I'll have to edit my post and say, uh, look what I found. You know, unless it's not actually a fusion generator and I'm somehow derping, but I'm pretty sure it is, because I think that's what I looked at in creative. Okay, we're going to kill this guy and then see what we got for blueprints. And if you're wondering why I'm saying it's a guy, well, look how ugly it is probably stinks. That's a guy. Not me, but definitely a lot easier to be a guy than a girl. And yes, um, don't hate me if I'm being sexist, because my wife might watch this, so I'm definitely not going to insult the female race. Anyway, that aside, um, let's see what we got in the inventory. What do we got for blueprints? Yeah, um, you can't read it on this side. It's kind of behind and faded, and it goes off the left side of the screen. That's annoying. So we're just going to read it over here. Iron garage door. I think we just need the steel garage door. Service boots. We already got the service boots. Okay. Special ops. We got everything special ops. Iron stairs. I th yeah, we need iron stairs. Dog sulfur. I think we have. Yes, we do. Clay block. I'm pretty sure we have that. That's You get that pretty early on. Service vest. Uh, that's armor. We already got all that armor. Steel rat. I believe we have that. That's no problem. Buggy. I think we got the buggy last time. Graphene ramp. Oh, we needed that one. Graphene ramp. D derp. Just got that one. Rusty. Whoa. Rusty chain gun blueprint. That is pretty fun. Fud light tier one. Okay, we got that. Hover ship basic. We have that. Combat ammo. Yes, combat ammo. We are going to get a rusty assault rifle for our secondary weapon. Large power generator. Sweet. Medium power generator, which we already got. Uh, the medium power generator, if you can see it, it actually has a wheel on either side. Um, as if it can be hooked up to the buggy and dragged around. Because of that, it can actually be moved, and therefore it can glitch through 
blocks and terrain. So what I recommend is having a block floating above the ground or a platform, have this on top, and then have a few blocks underneath that with a you know one or two block gap. So if it glitches through, it'll land beneath it. You can pick it up and stick it back on top. Or even better, don't mess with the medium generator at all. Um, just go to the large, but the large really is expensive in terms of graphene ingots. Right, I said it right, right? Graphene? Yeah, monolithium, I believe. I think it takes monolithium. No, it's graphene. Um, has a range of 100, which is pretty big. The fusion generator has a range of 200. It's double that, so it's nice. Okay, large health injection. I don't even know why I tried. We totally have that. Laser turret. I think we got that. Yeah, we got the laser turret. I know we got the chainsaw. I don't even know why I'm trying. Have it, I guess. Antimatter. We have that blueprint. The graphene drill. I think that's T3 that we already got. And we got the graphene blueprint already. Iron. We already got that. Iron ramp. I really want to get a titanium chest blueprint. That's what I really want. Steel door. Um, steel door. Okay, we need a steel garage door. Large MR. We have that. Guardian pants. Sweet. Just two more. Uh, ooh, blast charge. We already got it. Just two more pieces of armor for the guardian set. And then we'll have we'll make a full guardian um, set of armor, special op gloves. Yeah. Okay. So that's this episode. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next episode, I have no idea what we're gonna do. And if I see some ideas, suggestions in the comments, I may do that, or I'll just do whatever I decide on before. I really have no idea. Um, I might kind of make a base, sort of, kind of build something. Um, one thing I'm definitely going to be doing next time is we're going to be getting us a good uh, rusty chain gun. Now, the real chain gun is so much better, but we'll stick with this. We'll get the rusty chain gun and have some fun with it. And until next time, this is Hizaron here, signing off.